We focused a lot on Orlando theme parks, rides, and the best attractions on Planet Mark. But today, we're going back to our homeland, the UK, to get the best giants, world breaking roller coasters to battle it out for the number one place for the Planet Mark top 10 greatest theme parks in the UK. Horror inspired rides in one corner, colossal feats of engineering in another, Lego for some reason in the middle, and Peppa Pig World! It's truly a battle of the gods! Only one more thing left to say. Let's, Let's get, get ready to rumble! rumble. Remember, I want to hear from you, so tell me how many of these awesome theme parks you've ticked off on your theme park bucket list. And remember, for the greatest and best prices, check out our links or attraction tickets in the description box below. You won't get a better deal than these guys. So let's get to it. Number 10, Lightwater Valley. Located in Yorkshire, Lightwater Valley boasts over 35 family, very fairground-esque orientated rides. And admittedly, a lot of it is fairly <sighs> Especially compared to some of the other entries in our list, which is so it's not really a place for those hardcore maniac adrenaline fuel junkies, which I know most of you are. But there are some noticeably good rides, like the Eagle's Claw, which is pretty much you get strapped into this thing, get hurled a while high above the treetops. Ride aboard the Black Pearl, me mateys. The Raptor Attack, which all you need to know is dinosaurs. <laughs> And yes, with a name this lame, it's bound to be good. It's in fact Europe's longest roller coaster. It's made of wood, and I remember when I went on it, at the very tallest part of it, there was a bra that was stuck to it, which I assume they didn't know was there at the time. But if anybody has seen my bra, could they please give it back to me? But we did in fact time this once, and it's about seven minutes from start to finish of just pure roller coaster fun. So definitely go to the bathroom beforehand or wear a nappy. Number nine, Oakwood Theme Park. It's the biggest theme park in the heart of Wales, in Pembrokeshire. I'm not actually sure if I've actually pronounced that right. I know in Wales there's a lot of <laughs> friends who are Welsh. I probably destroyed your language. Please don't throw sheep at my window. They've got Neverland, I'm assuming it's based on Peter Pan as opposed to the weird Michael Jackson version. There's a ride called Megaphobia, now that is a good name. It's the UK's first original and voted best wooden coaster multiple years in a row. I'm guessing the phobia is if you're afraid of wood, is that, is that a thing? They've got Drench. And they've got Speed, which is a fast-paced, over 360 degree vomit inducing awesomeness that hits speeds of over 56 miles an hour, making it the fastest roller coaster in the valleys as well. Do you want to see me go on Speed? Do you want to see me go on it again? By the way, if you're enjoying this countdown so far, why not hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification to be told of the next Great Planet Mark theme park countdown. And every Friday we have a new Florida vlog. Number eight, Portons Park. Okay, so if you're into dinosaurs and Peppa Pig for reasons, then this park is definitely for you. With 70 family orientated rides, including the Lost Kingdom, which boasts multiple dinosaur themed rides with lifelike creations of dinosaurs. So it's like a real life Jurassic Park, apart from the dinosaurs aren't real. So it's a real life fake version of Jurassic Park. There's a flight of the pterodactyl, which is a suspended coaster, and the Velociraptor, which is quick. And it's also home to the world's first. Peppa Pig World. Like there was much competition. It's got fun filled rides, an indoor play area and muddy puddles which I'm sure the parents will be happy to be taking their dirty children on the long drive home. Number seven, Flamingo Land. It's not all flamingos, there are some awesome rides here too, as well as probably some, there's probably some flamingo somewhere. Including the cliffhanger which makes you feel like a missile being launched. 
Flip Flop, which is a maritime themed ride which takes place just above a vast lake. Imagine it's like a swing, but for the people which have no fear. And Hero, which is where you take to the sky to defeat an alien on a ship. Feel like you're free falling with zero gravity as you fight the <laughs> menace. Number six. How can we talk about UK theme parks without talking about Legoland Windsor? This is pretty much like every other Legoland in the world. It's like they've got the bricks and just like move the bricks to a different place, which reminds me, let's start that Planet Mark Lego pun counter. Probably the most creative theme park in this entire list, Legoland has been built from the ground up with Lego in mind. With various lands and roller coasters with a specific Lego theme, all of them family friendly, so no matter how young you are, they won't block you from getting on. That's the thing with this part, you don't even need to go on any rides to enjoy yourself. You can just enjoy the kind of architecture and the kind of models that they've made. From the world's largest Lego Death Star, to the famous monuments made from Lego with the mini city. There's so much to do, including scary ancient Egyptian worlds that will truly make you be bricking it. Okay, we're done with the bad puns for this video. Number five, Chessington World of Adventures in <coughs> Chessington, that's it. With 10 differently themed worlds and over 40 different rides, and including a zoo and sea life centre, but we're not really interested in the zoo and sea life centre. <laughs> but let's get to the rides. They have the seriously strange, fantastic vampire ride. Fly like a bat out of hell! Fly through twists and turns. This ride does everything except suck. The Gruffalo River Adventure. Do you remember reading the Gruffalo as a kid? Me neither. But anyway, board the boat alongside Mouse and travel along the river of the story of the Gruffalo unravels in front of you. And the Dragon's Fury, which not only is the name of that curry that I had last night, it's also this amazingly strange ride in the sense like this is one which changes depending on where people are in the ride. I'm guessing that the weight probably has a big effect to it. Number four, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Guess where this one is guys? Blackpool. I guess it's near the beach. The, the Pleasure Beach if you need further directions. It's home to the UK's only Nickelodeon land. I like the idea of this because ever since they got rid of the Nick Hotel in Orlando and all of the Nickelodeon Nicktoon stuff pretty much in Universal, it's nice that we can finally still actually go see some kind of Nicktoons orientated theme park stuff. Although I do really miss the Nicktoons roller coaster simulator thingy at Universal Studios and ever since they <sighs> got rid of it from Minions. Minions! A host of amazing adrenaline fueled rides await you at the Pleasure Beach, including the big one, which sounds like the thing that I did before this video. This is the UK's tallest roller coaster, and if you're wondering, like, yes, this, this one used to be called the very product placement fueled Pepsi Max coaster, sponsored by Coca Cola. There's also the very iconic new ride for 2018 called Icon which cost them over 16 million pounds as it's miles of drops, loops and zero gravity inversions. There's also inversion which is just a roller coaster above the water. The Valhalla 2. Okay, so remember when you were young and you wish that you were a dead viking? When I get big, I either want to be a doctor or a dead viking. It's a indoor river boat thing, fire, drops, getting splashed and pretty much just going through the Valhalla which is like this, the, the death, it's death, death by Vikings, that's their hell. You're going through that in a riverboat. It's such a cool idea for a ride and it's, it's definitely one of the best there. And it's also home to the UK's first looping coaster. Ah, oh, the good old days. Remember a time when roller coasters were just roller coasters? A simpler time where every roller coaster didn't have to be sponsored by a movie. And the fact that they were just terrible rides. Blackpool Pleasure Beach remembers. Number three, Drayton Manor. Okay, 
Personally, I think the Drayton Manor is one of the most overlooked and underrated theme parks. It doesn't really have the kind of budget which the other theme parks have, so you might not have seen it advertised, but Drayton Manor is definitely an amazing theme park. With rides such as Air Race, which is an adrenaline fueled roller coaster, which makes you feel like Superman. See, I didn't just pick this t-shirt for nothing. With 4Gs of inversions and fun, you definitely love this roller coaster. There's Pandemonium. Okay, let me explain Pandemonium. Imagine, remember those old school, like, swingy pirate ship boat things? Now imagine that it failed health and safety and went over the top and again and again until you were sick. That is this ride. It's awesome. There's two of them, so it looks like you're gonna crash from the certain angle, but it's just so cool. And finally, feel like Ringo Starr for the day as you embark in the world of Thomas the Tank Engine. Then Thomas went through the tunnel and he met up with his friends where he burnt down their house. No one must ever know. The end. Number two just missing out on a number one spot. The silver medal for the UK's best theme park goes to Fort Park. Located just outside of Slough, this boasts plenty of awesome fantastic roller coasters and a incredibly brown trouser inducing Halloween Horror Nights which is not to be missed. I'm sorry Halloween, I've been told that Halloween Horror Nights has been trademarked by Universal and it's called Fright Night. We don't want another court injunction do we? There's Colossus, which is a 10 looping coaster, which hits speeds of over 45 miles an hour. There's the amazing The Walking Dead ride. Okay, just reading the description for this ride on the website, it says that you have to like try to escape the walkers to get to the safety of the sanctuary. But people that actually watch the show, you'll know that the sanctuary is the very last place that you want to be escaping to. I'd rather have a walker as a roommate than go spend a night with that weird baseball wielding maniac. And this is also notable because The Walking Dead will not be returning to Orlando as far as we know, so it's the only way that you can get your walker fix if you're in the UK. Isn't that right, Ted? <sighs> he's, he's my roommate from the previous joke. Okay, so there's loads more rides to get through, like Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Rise of the Demon, which has loads of multi-century action-packed, like, live-action stuff. I suppose it's kind of like the great movie ride, but because it's Darren Brown, your mind will be blown. There's also Swarm, which is the UK's first winged coaster. Not really sure what the difference is, but anyway, still pretty good. There's the first horror-themed ride called Saw. So you want to play a game? Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. It's got loads of loops, twists, it's quick, and it has an over 90 degree drop. As it's beyond 90, it's like 100 degrees or something like that. So you don't go straight down, you go beyond straight down, which is just so, whoa. So basically it's going to make you feel like you've woken up in a weird warehouse next to a rusty saw with an eye patch with a red cross on it. I am so messed up. And just loads more, just, just go, okay? So before we get to our number one spot, just some honourable mentions, like the now shut down Camelot, which is like a medieval themed Excalibur world, and the also shut down American Adventure, and also Gulliver's World, which isn't shut down. Well, I didn't meet this list because it was, just, it was just terrible. So now, the number one spot. Remember, if you want discount tickets, you can click on our links in the description box below for attraction tickets. So here we are, the number one spot. Goes to Alton Towers. It's a converted castle and grounds and is one of the UK's oldest theme parks, if not the original, which did it the best. It's got loads of world record breaking rides and firsts. For example, The Wicker Man which is another horror movie adaptation. It sends you hurtling towards a flaming six story tall wooden wicker man. That alone, you don't even need to know anything else about the ride. That alone is a reason to go on it. I mean, not one word in that sentence didn't sound cool. Oblivion, which is the UK's very first vertical drop coaster. And coincidentally the first one I wet myself on. Well, I was young at the time. It was last year, Mark. 
Europe's first inverted loop coaster, Nemesis. And I remember when I went, if you look closely, somewhere hidden amongst everything is a weird eyeball monster, for reasons. And I'll finish off with the, you probably know it already, the Smiler, which is the roller coaster with the most loops in the world. That's 14 amazing loops and a really weird mental facility kind of facade that they have going on. Changing your social behaviour and making you smile with the Institute of Joy. You will absolutely love this ride. Well, unless they forget to put the relevant safety checks on. But that's for another video. But that's just my opinion. What's yours? I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments section below what's your favourite UK theme park. And tell me how many of these theme parks have you crossed off on your theme park bucket list of junkies. Remember to subscribe to Pat Mark and hit that bell notification to be told on the next great upload. Like and share this video. Follow us on Twitter at PlantMarkVlog or Facebook.com forward slash PlantMarkVlog or at Disney, Disney, Instagram at Disney.Dreamer underscore UK. See you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.